Okay, so I've got my Launchpad Pro here. Uh, it is displaying a C minor scale in a circle of fifths palette, which is why it looks kind of so groovy. And right now I've got a combinator hooked up with a scales and chords. It's going into this revival organ. And then it goes into a scales and chords set the same way to C minor. C minor. Uh, which is going to the external MIDI instrument, which is hooked up to the Launchpad Pro. So what you're seeing uh, is the chords as we go along. And it's all set up so that the baby can play, basically. But um, I thought I'd break out the kind of cheap, ancient... <laughs> Yeah, because you enjoy it, don't you? The cheap, ancient keyboard. Uh -huh. She can beat on, and she can press the buttons on and everything. And, uh, yeah, and I'd hook this up well in advance to uh, display the playing notes. The only drawback to this whole thing is that she can press the select button on the uh, ancient keyboard and mess with the presets there, but anyway. Okay, well, I'm going to uh, go back to uh, managing my baby. But anyway, this is my little demo video, uh, Launchpad Pro Kodak. It's working. It's working. It's been working. It's been working for months. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You're such a huggy baby. Okay, you're going to go have fun? Go have fun. Go have fun. I'll see you later. Okay, part two. So I hooked up now uh, an arpeggiator. There's the little baby playing the arpeggiator. Let's see. Uh... So now I'm playing the launch pad. And it's showing me what... And I got scales and chords hooked up to both the external... Uh, scales and chords and the arpeggiator hooked up to both. So uh, I've got... The external mini instrument, I've got scales and chords, and just a simple arpeggiator with the same patch, same patch on both, both set to C minor, and the pad is set to C minor, so now I can play the pad, and it shows me the arpeggio that's playing, of course it's going probably off the, uh, it's kind of going off the scale, because there's only so much room, there's only 64 pads. But I'm telling you, when these pads get to be like two grids, so that you know you've got uh, a 16 by 8, or you've got 24 by 8, uh, it could be really awesome. Anyway, I uh, well, just want to show this to you because no one else in the world. Is doing uh, <laughs> doing doing this, and it's been my delight all year to uh, 
code this thing. And I love reason. Anyway. <laughs> I changed up the organ sound, but I still have the same uh, same patch uh, loaded up here, and I'm just showing you that this is a different layout, but also in scale mode. And then we can go to a different, uh, just a different layout doing the same thing. See that so the flashing pattern is different. Let's see. And, uh, oh, here's another scale mode that we can go into. This is diagonal. So you're kind of seeing the, uh, scale as it flashes along and then I think there's one more scale mode no well, we saw that one already wait there we go that's direction this mode uh, you know So, anyway, that's uh, it. And this is not a scale mode. This is a chromatic mode. If I had the arpeggios off, you'd hear, you know, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la. You, you hear the 12 notes here, starting with a, you know, a root note here and a root note here. Here a root note, there a root note, everywhere a root note. Anyway, so this is a chromatic mode to show you. That's why I picked a, a minor scale because uh, and then threw the launch pad into the scale mode so that you could it would only display the ones that are on the arpeggio. So So uh, anyway, uh, that is it. Um, we're just gonna run that's oh that's my favorite mode. This is a chromatic mode too, but it's uh, it kind of a weird layout, but it's a layout I like. Anyway, I'd be able to see from this, uh, the flashing playback lights, what notes were playing, and then I could play them back on the launch pad if I'd hooked the launch pad up to something that wasn't feeding back into itself.